Thank you very much indeed. It is really unexpected for many, many reasons. One of them is that, as you see, I barely find time in these days to come to visit the conference. So the second is that um, one of my dreams years ago was to come and to attend the formulation conference. But whatever happened, Every time I wanted to come, something something appeared. Either I should go to present some report to some company, or there was some other uh, academic event. So at the end of the day, this is my first formulation <laughs> conference. <laughs> and um, I'll not talk about science, because tomorrow at the presentation I'll have time for this, but I really want to say thank you to, to several people. And typically I want to, to, to thank to the people that changed my life. And there are a number of them. So the first two that I want to mention, unfortunately, are not with us today. Professor Ivanov and Prof Professor Krauchevsky, some of you know both of them. They were my teachers in science. I learned quite a lot of them. So I really want to, in some way, to say thank you to them because everything what we do has been affected by them in many, many different ways. But the second person that I want to thank is uh, Slavka Chulakova, who is here. Uh, she obviously changed my, my life. Uh, for the people that uh, were in our department, there were many, many years whether they wondered whether to go abroad. And actually many of them went abroad. You, you have seen today uh, Krasi Bedikov and uh, Yudan Pet, Jordan Petkov and so on. And for me this question was also several times on the table. But I had a chance to meet a person that was ready to share the science, the life, and work together to try to make something in Bulgaria that we have seen only abroad. And I think we succeeded. Thank you, Slavka, for this. <laughs> and you'll see in the presentation tomorrow that, uh, of course, the work that, that I'll present is made in, in, not in collaboration, in a, in a clo close effort with many of the students here. I, I have counted there about 15 PhD students that graduated in, 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 in these years. But it is obvious first that without them this work would not be available. But actually the most important thing for me is that these are the people that you can teach on something that will remain after you. So, in a way that I'm grateful to Professor Ivanov, to, to Professor Krauchevsky for what I have learned from them, I'm sure that in some way I have affected their lives for good or for bad, they will decide. <laughs> this, is, this will be their final conclusions. And, and even some of them are returning back from, from abroad. And we have also a French lady in our department, so I'm very, very also proud with this. But again, this is due to the people that work in the department. So although there is one, one name here, uh, it is a matter of, of a collective work and, and nobody of, of us forget this at any moment. And last but not least, I want to thank to the jury. It was really a surprise. And, and I want to say something that is not part of exactly the ceremony. The first award that I get, I was a very ambitious young scientist, as everyone that, that wants to, to make a rapid progress. But it was very difficult at that time for many reasons. And the first award that I get was the National Award for Science, or, or Pythagoras, which was given to me because the head of the jury took my file from one pile. I said, okay, this guy is not for here, he should be here. He had the courage to break the protocol just to decide that it's worthy to, to give this award to a person like me. And I say this for the jury, next time be brave, give this to young people, give this to people that really show brilliance because they will remember this all their life and will be motivated for this. Thank you very much.